A retired Navy officer went before Congress today looking for justice. For decades, he says the Pentagon has denied using him and his fellow sailors to test weapons that were used during the Cold War. He believes those tests led to some serious medical problems. Uh, name is John Olson. Very nice Norwegian name. <laughs> Uh, I live here in Billings, Montana now. Uh, my period of service was 1961 through 65. The 60, late 63, early 64, when I first went into Project Shad. Four decades ago, these tugboats were sprayed with biological agents in top secret tests known as Project Shad. It was a uh, weapons testing program, uh, biological type primarily, and uh, has been classified ever since. Military planes would spray the boats with VX nerve gas, sarin gas, E. coli, and other deadly microbes. It was a witch's brew as far as we were concerned. Uh, I ended up with prostate cancer, renal cancer, um, three skin cancers. <laughs> That's just the cancer part of it. Lung damage, yeah, lots of that. And because it was top secret, there was nothing in their service records about Project Shad. I and other Shad veterans would go to the Veterans Administration and others. They basically said, oh, our government would never do anything like that. There's no proof of this. No proof, no veterans benefits. Senator John Tester and Senator Jerry Moran, a Republican from Kansas, introduced the Gary Deloney and John Olson Toxic Exposure Declassification Act on Monday. The bill would give veterans access to military records that would help with disability benefits and VA health care. It's got to be named something. It might as well be my name on it. <laughs> the bill states the potential declassified information would determine the toxic substance, potential severity of the exposure, and any health uh, conditions that could arise from that exposure. The bill would help doctors treat other veterans as well, exposed to other possible toxic substances. John, this is John Tester. How are you? Well, pretty good. What do we got? I am calling you just to say thank you for, uh, for your service and thank you for being a, a person who's really stepped up and, and pushed for this because uh, the, the SHAD legislation to release your documents so you can get coverage will go to the president's desk because this is a must-pass piece of legislation and, uh, and we'll set the record straight. This should have been fixed years and years ago, but, uh, but I think we're going to get her done, John. I think you got my sentiments on that exactly. Thank you very much.